Alright class, now I know you know what Google is. And I know you know how to use it. My question is, do you know how to use it well? Today, I want to teach you guys about Google Syntax. Now, Google Syntax is a way to use Google to find the information that you need and that you want easier, faster, and better. Google is a dangerous thing. When you type the words in, a lot of different things can show up. So make sure that you bring your safety glasses and your safety code when you use Google. Now I know you students must be thinking, what's an old geezer like me going to teach you about Google? But let me tell you a little bit about how it works. So when you type in a search, Google comes up with ranked results. Now how those results come about uses 200 search signals to rank which web pages are most relevant to your search query. And this is where Google syntax comes in. When you type the right thing into Google in the right way, you can make your search queries come up with the result that you want. Informational, navigational, transactional. So you find the best information for the best type of search. So the first lesson I want to teach you guys today is how to search for an exact phrase or word. And this is called verbatim mode. And this is where when you type in a word, the website will pull up the exact words or the exact phrases that you typed in instead of any word or any phrase on that website, which will give you a more specific and a more precise search query. When you guys want to find exactly what you're looking for, what you do, type your first quotation, and let's say we're going to say Justin Bieber, end quotation, and when you type in your search query, it's going to pull up exact web pages with the words Justin Bieber in it. For this lesson, I want to teach you guys how to find something on a specific website. So first what you do, you open your quotations, you type site, colon, the website you want to go to. So let's say we'll do buzzfeed.com, and then space, and the word or phrase that you're looking for. So let's say Justin Bieber, end quote. And when you pipe that in, it'll find the information on BuzzFeed that has to do with Justin Bieber. For this lesson, I want to teach you guys how to define a word. And this one's really easy. All I have to do, open your quotes, type in define, put your colon, and the word you want to know. So we're going to say irony. Close your brackets and press enter. And your word will come up with the definition. Now this next lesson doesn't necessarily have to do with your homework. It has to do more so with finding items that you want to buy. So what you're going to do is you're going to think of something that you want to buy and you're going to think about how much you want to spend. And this one's really easy. All you have to do is type in, let's say, running shoes. Put space, do your money sign, the least amount of money you want to spend, we'll say 20, two dots, another money sign, and the most you want to spend. This is going to get your search results for running shoes between 20 and $40, so you don't have to go looking around on every site for running shoes at all different prices when you only want to spend this much money. There you go. So this one's exciting. What I'm going to teach you guys is how to find specific file types through Google's search engine. So what we're going to do, we're going to type in cute kittens, then space, type in file type, press your colon, and then the file type. So we'll do JPG or JPEG, and this is going to pull up pictures of cute kittens on websites with the JPEG file format. In this lesson, I want to teach you guys how to emphasize words in your search. So, for example, let's say you're searching cute kittens. What we're going to do is we're going to type cute, and then we're going to put kittens in quotations. What this is going to do, you're going to search cute kittens, but you're going to get more kittens than cute. Conversely, what we can also do is if you want to take a word out or have a word mean less, what you can do is you can put a subtraction sign before cute and put kittens in bracket so you're still searching cute kittens but you get less cute and more kittens. Now this one's going to help you guys out a lot for your assignments and your projects. So what this is, is you find a website say has a lot of good politics information on it. You're doing your politics assignment and you're thinking wouldn't this site be great if I could find another one just like it? So what you can do, if you go into Google, you type in related, put your colon, 
and you copy and paste your URL from the original site into the search query. What that's going to do is it's going to pull up sites that are related to the first site that you found. So instead of trying to scramble, you go right to the source. This is going to come in handy for you guys when you want to find synonyms for a word or a topic that you're looking for. So for example, let's go with politics. Say you're searching politics in Google. What you're going to do, you're going to put your tilde sign, which is probably underneath your escape button, before the word politics. And what that's going to do is it's going to search politics, but it's also going to search all the synonyms to politics. So essentially what you're doing is you're combining your thesaurus with Google to find one search query that's going to give you all the answers for that. Now this technique is going to teach you guys how to do conversion rates for currency. It's very simple. So for example, we're going to do Canadian type in and then the currency you want to find. So we will do American. Now that's it for today. Hopefully that was helpful. You guys find that useful in your classes. We put some links in the description. You can check out more on that stuff. And uh, enjoy your Google searches.